Okay, as you can see, only 10.4% of you are subscribed and 896 of you aren't. Let's try and improve these uh, numbers. Really hoping to reach 2K by the end of the year and I've been trying to reach 1.7K for over a year now. So it would mean the absolute world to me if we could even bring this number down to 20% uh, so, uh, so subscribed, it would mean the world to me. And yeah, Let, let's change these numbers, guys. Love you all. And yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so viewer discretion is ad advised for this um, documentary. Um, we do have children in this clip. We have had per permission for um, our work to be shared. And of course, permission from the parents for the documentary to be posted on 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 online. So everything has been covered. But if anything is said towards these children, this video will be here removed and these comments will be taken very, very seriously. So please don't disrespect the kids, um, the actors, the dancers, or, or, or the film crew because there were some slight mistakes made in, in this documentary. Um, slight editing errors, audio errors, and camera errors. So yeah, um, it's been a long time in the making. I I was going to to, to share this around February, but I ha had my hes he um, hesitations. But yeah, here it is. Tap down. He's really funny and nice, and I think that he's a great person in general. Um, I think he's very adaptable when he's teaching. He's got a very diverse range of pupils from a five-year-old who needs um, a lot of encouragement and obviously a lot of one-on-one -on -one teaching right through to adults, um, myself included. Um, he's got dancers with mental health problems, older dancers, and then obviously the younger dancers who like to take everything and go for the competitions. but he does it so where everyone dances at their own pace and he adapts the start, his style of teaching to suit everyone and what they can and what they're capable of doing. The dancers compete and then the best outcome is if they do well. I mean one of, one of my students got fourth at the World Championships which I was very proud of. I started dancing when I was about eight years of age. And how did your grandfather's influence affect well, I never met my grandfather, but I remember watching uh, old black and white videos. I don't know if you know what videos are. <laughs> I remember watching old black and white videos of him dancing, and he danced well into his 80s. He did, and um, then I had family cousins that danced as well, and they would teach me little bits as I was a child, and then I'd find my uh, teacher in Lincoln. As um, an influence, is your grandfather your greatest dancing influence? Uh, yes and no, because if he hadn't have danced, then other family members wouldn't have danced. For example, I had a cousin in London who I would see quite regular, and she would teach me the basic steps before I'd found a teacher. But I also had a cousin in Chicago who danced as well, so it was in the family. Um, I actually went to secondary school with him. I was two years younger than him. Um, we sort of n knew each other but didn't really hang out and then um, lost contact. And then a few years ago, um, I saw that he, he was doing Irish dancing. Um, didn't really say anything to him. Then we started talking online. Um, we started dating and then about nine months into the relationship, I actually then worked up the courage to start Irish dancing and I'm really glad I did. Uh, but the support isn't there as much and my teacher found it hard when I was competing and I found it quite hard 
we do. The younger generation don't seem as interested in the Irish culture as what the older generation do. And um, especially in Lincoln, the Irish culture have obviously a, quite a lot of a drinking culture and there's no Irish centres, things like that, so. I think everything about him is like he's proud of his Irish heritage and stuff like that and he tries to do what he can to bring the community of the Irish together in Lincoln like he does shows and he, he does dancing in the high street and everything and he just wants to um, get more people involved and anyone no matter if you are Irish or not that you can learn the joy of Irish dancing. Um, I don't think it's a question of fitting in uh, I think it's there's a lot more work over there I mean, when I lived in Dublin, I was doing four or five shows a day, seven days a week, while here I'm trying to start up again. I think he is a very good entertainer and he likes to do his best to give the best performance he can when he is performing for people and he just wants to make everyone happy and enjoy what he's doing. Happiness, really. Is one of the best feelings as an entertainer is when you have a little kid watching you or an elderly person watching you because they've got no problem telling you if they don't like you. And if, they, if they're happy, then I think you're doing a good job.